What's up everyone? Back here with another video. Griffin, you already know who it is. We're back in the kitchen. Um, sorry about the mess. I need to clean this shit up sometime. Today, I'm just going to be going over what supplements I use, what kind of protein shakes I use, what kind of protein bars do I like to eat, etc. Um, if you have taste protein bars or anything like that before, you know it can be very hard to find one that tastes good and I really played around with protein bars a lot the last few months just because, I mean, I like the idea of protein bars. It's just a quick little bar, but the taste in so many of them are either dry, chalky, tastes like shit altogether, etc. But I finally found one, at least from um, this company at my gym, actually. They were selling them like two for the price of one, essentially. I buy one, get one, essentially. So I actually bought a whole box of them because I tried one. And I really liked it. The brand is um, FitJoy, just FitJoy Protein Bar. Go ahead and show you all a little bit what it looks like here. But um, yeah, these usually run you about, I think, $2 each. Um, sometimes, I haven't looked on Amazon yet, but I'm sure you can find them for a better deal. A box of 12 usually costs about $28, at least in my gym, that's what they cost. And it comes with 20 grams of protein, 220 calories, um, total fat only 7 grams. I mean, it's a little high, but not too much. Um, only a gram and a half of saturated fat, very little cholesterol, a um, little bit of sodium, 220 milligrams, um, not very many sugars at all, and 25 grams of carbohydrates but also 135 milligrams of potassium. Not a lot of potassium, but just a little bit. So I mean, overall, they're really good protein bars. The one that I like the most is this chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, there's a whole bunch of protein bars that are chocolate cookie dough, but so many of them just ruin it. They taste like shit. But these, these are not half bad. They are slightly dry, kind of have a dry taste, but um, like, Compared to the average protein bar that I've had that's just stupid dry, you have to take a drink after every single bite. This one isn't bad. I usually take a drink after every two or three bites rather than every bite. So it's like an average little snack, essentially. But anyways, enough of that. Um, my pre-workout that I take is um, Elite Gold Pre-X7 Fully Dose, the Watermelon. I believe this is actually complete nutrition. I mentioned them in a previous video. Um, they're in my Columbia Mall. Um, this one with my membership only cost me like $30, I think, and it came with how many servings? It says 20 servings per container, but no. Nah. There's more than 20 because. Yeah, it says one serving size is one scoop. I take one scoop every time, um, and I've had this shit for a few months, so I mean, it's more than 20 servings. Probably more like. 200 servings but um yeah this one works really good i take it mostly when i'm tired um just a forewarning i'm not taking like any of my supplements right now other than my protein because i um kind of started having some spells again i'm pretty sure it's from the beta alanine that i'll mention here in a second but i just wanted to go ahead and cycle off everything i've been taking everything for like a month or so now so i know it's going to take a little bit to get it out of my system so I just wanted to cycle completely off of everything for like the next month. And then I'll slowly go back on each of them one by one until I exactly figure out which supplement is causing the issues, hopefully. But um, this pre-workout is definitely really good. I would take it whenever I just was kind of feeling a drag, didn't feel like going to the gym. Definitely got me feeling ready. Um, then I take post-workout. A lot of people take it pre-workout. I don't know why. I take it post-workout. When my muscles are all torn down, I'm eating, and my body's just ready to suck all that shit up. That's when I take my creatine. This is by um, Creop, I believe is the brand name. Or maybe it's, yeah, I don't know. I'll let y'all see it. Creop, creatine monohydrate, not that hydrochloric shit or whatever it's called. Um, this also says it only has 50 servings per container, but I've had this since August. July, August, and I took it for like three months straight. I took it for another month, so I mean, I've had like a hundred servings out of it already. Take one scoop, you get five milligrams. That's all you need really is three to five, maybe six milligrams a day. 
Um, that'll be a future video. Um, but yeah, that's really good. I mix it with grape juice. It doesn't taste too bad in that. And then also in my post-workout, I started taking this muscle recovery dietary supplement. Um, that's also by Complete Nutrition. It's called, it's just called RX4. Um, I haven't really done much research on it, so I don't know how much it actually works, but it has MCT oil, cherry pure, like, um, Tory cherry powder. Um, what else? Conjugated, I can't even pronounce that shit. Linoletic acid. Oh yeah, that's just pretty good for you actually. And pet form. Um, so it does have a few good things in there. It says you should take three a day. So I just take one in the morning, one in the afternoon, one at night just with every meal. Um, I just started this like a week or two ago, so I can't really judge it yet. But um, I got it for free at Complete Nutrition because they had a buy one, get one sale going on on certain supplements. So I was like, might as well try it out. And then what I was also taking with my pre-workout that I was talking about was my beta alanine. Um, I mean, it's nitric oxide rush, is like what it's called, NX6. But it comes with over 1,600 milligrams of beta alanine, which is a decent amount. And obviously, nitric oxide, all that shit, taurine, just a whole bunch of stuff in it. And I would take three of these, these damn things like horse pills, I'll show you also. If I can get one out, I'm running low. Look how big that damn pill is. It's like a damn horse pill. Oh wait, camera's over here. <laughs> but yeah, that's like a damn horse pill. I'll take three of those with my pre-workout every time before going to the gym. And it just literally made my skin crawl. It, I mean, I noticed a difference after like one week of taking this that I was doing more reps. I was up in my, I actually up my weight like twice in one week. Get away, dog. <laughs> um, I up my weight like twice in a week or two when I started taking this shit. Not a lot, but just a little bit. And I was getting more reps. So, I mean, if your body doesn't react bad to it, which a lot of people don't. My family's just got shitty genetics on both sides, on my dad's and my mom's. They react bad to a whole bunch of shit. So, um, I mean, I would definitely suggest go getting some, any kind of pure beta alanine. It would definitely help you out if your body reacts well to it. And then, um, my guy at Complete Nutrition, um, Justin, he gave me a sample of this pre-workout. I'm actually going to try probably Monday when I get back in the gym. Today is Saturday. Shoulder's kind of hurting, so I'm not going to go on Sunday. I'm going to go ahead and take another day off and let that shoulder heal up a little bit. I almost went to Snap City on it. But um, this is just called Taze 3. It's a pre-workout. I think he said it doesn't have any stimulants in it. Yeah, I don't see any caffeine or anything like that in there. So that will be interesting. I'll go ahead and try it out. And who knows, I might end up going and get some if I like the taste of it. This is um, strawberry. I like strawberry, watermelon, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, another one I was taking, but I just, I don't know. I think it's, to be honest, I think it's a bullshit supplement. Um, but who knows? I don't know. I don't know too much about it. I'm not going to knock it. I just, I'm probably going to end up taking it back because it cost me $40 and I could spend that somewhere else. Um, but this one is just called 3-Test OXO. It's a lean mass gainer, supports testosterone levels. Pretty much, like, I wouldn't call it a testosterone booster, but, like, it supports testosterone, so I'm pretty sure it's, like, a step away from a testosterone booster. That's what that is right there. Got some good clean labeling on it, at least. But, I mean, I just don't think I need something like that. I'm only 20 years old, I mean... If I need a testosterone supporter at this age, whew, I'm in deep trouble. But um, other than that, that's pretty much, I think, everything that I take right now. Oh, and then I, I forgot, obviously, the protein. Don't forget that. And if you're all wondering, I just get all of this stuff, like the Complete Nutrition brand, because... I'm actually like a complete nutrition, like I have a membership or whatever. So a lot of times I get like buy one, get one on stuff. Like I think I got these two together for one price or something like that a while back. Like I get this stuff for like really like I show I took a picture and posted on my Snapchat once of just everything. And my friend messaged me. He was like, oh my God, did you spend like a whole paycheck on supplements? I was like, no, this only cost me like $200 for everything here. 
So, like, no, I'm not sponsored by Complete Nutrition or anything like that. I just really like their products, and, I mean, for the price, you can't beat it. And this is probably the best protein I've ever tasted. I usually hate protein. One, because I'm lactose intolerant, and just scarfing all that milk down and shit makes my stomach hurt. And I hate taking protein with water or almond milk, any of that shit. So I usually just suck it up, chug it down, then I'm done. But when it tastes like shit on top of that, it just made it hard for me to drink protein shakes. But this one, um, Physique Enhancement Annex Mass Protein Supplement. This one is brownie batter. I'll kind of put it up here for you all so you all can see it. Brownie batter with what? 40 grams of protein. No, I don't think that's per scoop. I think that's two scoops. Yeah, 20 grams of protein per scoop. I usually only take one scoop because I use like a just a little blender bottle like this. And something I need to clean that out. But um a lot of people will do two, but to me it just takes too long and to mix up with the blender bottle and even then it's still chunky as shit. So I usually just go with like one scoop in the morning and if I feel like it I'll have another scoop in the afternoon or evening. But it's definitely like the best protein I've ever tasted. I like am tearing this shit up right now. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for supplements. So the key supplements that I think you really should focus on, if you really want to see progress in the gym, like you're just wanting to, I wouldn't say speed things up. I mean, you are going to speed it up a little, but this is a process. You're not going to make a whole bunch of gains overnight. Unless if you're a newbie, if you're a newbie, you're going to see a lot of gains your first three to nine or even 12 months you'll probably if you're fatter on the bigger side you're going to drop a shit ton of weight probably as long as you're in a caloric deficit and you're going to put on muscle quick but <clears throat> it's not overnight i mean you're not gonna go from i mean look at me i'm not big by any means but i'm a hell of a lot bigger believe it or not i'll have to put a picture up in a future video just a transformation video i used to be like the size of my look i have small wrist but like the size of my wrist, that's like all this, how all this was about a year ago. So I mean, I made a lot of gains myself. But anyways, getting off topic, the key supplements you really should take if you're wanting to kind of speed up or enhance your gains, so to speak, are obviously your protein shake of any kind that you choose. Um, a pre-workout, beta alanine if you can. Um, some pre-workouts actually have beta alanine in them. So just be careful, read your labels, and find out which one works best for you. But um, definitely take some beta alanine if your body reacts good to it. And then for sure, if you want to take, if you don't want to take any supplements other than like a protein shake, you need to definitely take creatine monohydrate. Um, even though I'm hopped off of it right now, that's just because I'm doing like a total cleanse right now to make sure nothing else is wrong with me or whatever but i'll this will probably be the first supplement that i hop back on because it makes a huge difference and i'll go into how creatine works and whatnot with atp and whatnot in a future video so definitely be on the lookout for that subscribe below if you're new to the channel but creatine monohydrate makes a huge difference in the gym like within days week i mean there's actually a bunch of videos on YouTube where they're like creatine three week update because it just works so damn fast. And it, I mean, it's just crazy. Your pumps are better in the gym. I mean, it's literally essentially in a quick nutshell, takes a lot of the water in your body and forces it right into that damn muscle. I mean, there's a lot more to it than that, but that's in a nutshell what it does. So this is definitely worth your money and it's so cheap. This one I kind of overpaid for $39.99, but a lot of them you can find them for like, $19.99 on up um another good brand um i forget the brand but pretty much like creapure or something like that you want to find creapure i believe is the name of the creatine and it's really good as well but just be sure to take a creatine definitely take your protein shake obviously and then if you're really serious about your gains take some kind of pre-workout with beta alanine but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you all what kind of supplements I'm currently, not currently on, but what I usually take when I'm filling up to it. And um, kind of like protein bars I eat and whatnot. Those protein bars are really good. I think they also have, another one I like is um, 
peanut butter something. I think it might be peanut butter chocolate chip. Something that tastes like a Reese peanut butter cup, to be honest. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. New to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button below. I'm going to try to start coming out with videos every, hopefully, like every other day, if not every couple days for sure. And until next time, guys, hope you guys keep making them gains. I'll see you guys later.